There is an Australian battery company who are pushing ahead with their sodium-based solid-state battery. It's the only one in the world that I know of. Apparently, this thing is real. It sounds a lot more real than Toyota's solid-state battery. Here's what we know so far. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. A company in Australia, in fact, they're based in Western Australia, which is a bit like the Texas of Australia, sort of, is pushing ahead with a Germany-based battery project. In fact, Western Australian battery technology company, Altec Batteries, has raised $13.3 million, US dollars that is, to advance the development and commercialization of its sodium chloride solid state battery project and to progress construction of a silumina anodes battery materials plant in germany now why are they doing this in germany well because western australia is one of the most isolated places in the world we like building batteries in antarctica you've got to ship them then from antarctica to everywhere somewhere else around the world and it's very difficult to do that so it makes sense to make them basically in one of the world's biggest electric car markets. In fact, the world's second biggest electric car market is Europe right now. Altec said the funds will be used to advance the definitive feasibility study for a 100 megawatt hour plant for production of its Ser Energy sodium chloride solid state batteries and finalize construction of a 10,000 TPA silumina anodes pilot plant. Both projects will be constructed on land owned by Altec in Germany. What about these batteries? I mean, what's the deal with them? Altec says its technology or its Ser Energy technology, which relies on sodium ions commonly found in table salt and avoids using rare and expensive metals like lithium, cobalt, graphite, and copper, can reduce the cost of its batteries in comparison to lithium solid state batteries by 40% which, well, obviously right now, those batteries dominate the market. Now, unfortunately for Altec, when they came up with this idea, it made sense. The price of lithium had been going up astronomically. It was incredibly expensive. Battery companies were raising their prices as a result. Well, since they you know, done all the research, figured out how to make this solid state battery using sodium chloride, the price of lithium has gone down again. And there's really no big advantage right now to making batteries with sodium, maybe like a 5% difference versus lithium. Unfortunately, it's a bit of bad timing for this company. I mean, it made sense when they started the project and there was no way that they could ever know that this would happen. However, there's not really a big commercial advantage now making a sodium chloride battery. So I do have my doubts that this project will actually really get off the ground. Altec is aiming to secure a share of the short period energy storage market with its Silumina anodes product, which incorporate a high purity alumina HPA coated silicon and graphite into the anode of lithium ion battery. So this is an entirely different project to their to their sodium chloride solid state batteries. They're also working on having basically battery anodes that use a version of silicon. Now, no one's really quite worked this out yet in terms of long-term longevity. Silicon obviously has the potential for, for much, much greater, astronomically greater energy density if you can get a silicon anode to work long-term. That's the that's the big bottle. That's the big issue that every company, every battery company has been facing. Some companies say they've solved this problem. No one's really proved that they have yet though. However, Altec is saying that they've worked it out. The, the way they say they've done it, they're using high purity alumina coated silicon and graphite in the anode. So it's like a um, hybrid anode, so to speak. The company is progressing plans to develop a facility in Germany, which would produce the anode materials to supply Europe's lithium iron battery EV markets. Now, if they could pull this off, you know, this is kind of like a penny stock situation, right? You invest in it, it may turn into nothing, it may turn into billions of dollars. Because if they can pull off this technology and make silicon anodes work and have possibly, say, a, an energy density of, say, 50% higher versus today's batteries, then every battery manufacturer everywhere would want these anodes. Everyone, if as long as the price was, say, within 20, even 20 to 30% more expensive than existing anodes, everyone would want them. Could it play out? It could. There's no real way of knowing yet whether or not it will work, though. 
the company is progressing plans in its goal to try to be one of the biggest electric vehicle anode suppliers of batteries, in particular of the high-end EV market. The plant will combine Altex HPA and proprietary coating technology with regular battery-grade graphite to produce an anode material that is said to be about 30% higher in retention capacity than traditional graphite-only anodes. So basically they're using sort of like using silicon and then coating it with graphite. Obviously the graphite has much lower energy density. The silicon underneath has the much, the ability to have much higher energy density battery packs. So yeah, it's not really a true silicon anode battery. If it was, that energy density increase would be much higher than 30%. It'd be closer to 100, even 200%, theoretically 400%. However, 30% is still a massive improvement. And it's a huge improvement versus the batteries that Panasonic say. Panasonic say they're aiming for silicon anodes in their batteries. Of course, they supplied Tesla with these batteries. So they're kind of trying to increase the performance of the 4680 cell before they bring it to market. It's a race with them, LG Chem, Tesla themselves, and Samsung. So there's really four different battery companies trying to produce 4680 cells that are better. Now, Tesla is also working on silicon anodes. They've been doing this for a number of years. Panasonic are doing this. Lots of companies are doing it. Whoever gets there first and can commercialize them first will make a lot of money. And if you invest in that company and you get in early, well, you'll make a lot of money too. There's quite a few people who have made hundreds of millions of dollars by investing in these companies before they make it big. But then again, you could lose everything. You never know. Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.